Hello everyone. So now we are down to the next topic where and we are going to talk about reading for interpretation. Now we are done with understanding critical reading and then we have reading for analysis. Now we are moving to reading for interpretation. So allow me to share my screen to you. As you all know, our topic for this lesson in lesson three are interconnected. So we started with critical reading down to reading for analysis and now we are moving to reading for interpretation. So what is reading for interpretation? Once you have broken down the, te the text for analysis, you can now attempt to understand ideas and sentences. Now, as a reader, it is imperative that you be aware of the following context for maximum comprehension. The text's cultural background, the historical facts surrounding it, the author's life experiences, the debates within the discipline during a significant time period, and the intellectual debates of contemporary times. So basically, we need to learn not just the text or the words being used, but the text in context, the cultural background, the historical facts, even the author's life experience, and the time period where the sex is a being made and the intellectual debates of contemporary times. What do the patterns of arguments mean? You can ask the following questions when reading for interpretation. The first, what debates were the author and the text engaging in at the particular time? What kinds of reasoning? were employed and what kind of methodology and theory was employed and how might um, my reading of the text be biased and in doing so you will be able to assess or monitor your understanding and your interpretation of the text so this is actually somewhat like assessing your uh, i mean you are trying to understand how you understood the text hmm. somewhat like so we are back to our example about cigarette smoking in the decline so basically this is our topic or the topic sentence the main line but we have our argument However, the moist tobacco market is on the rise and has increased by nearly 7% from 2011 to 2014. So, our understanding, smoking cigarettes is declining, right? That's because that's our main topic. But there are more people who are finding alternatives for our tobacco intake. So, basically, in our mind, when we have read the, the main topic, it seems like, oh, there is a decline. So, maybe the production of tobacco will be decreasing but because of the statistics being shown that there is an increase of the moi tobacco which is the alternative of smoking cigarettes in comparison to dry cigarettes so there is now an open idea or an introduction idea on that particular argument of the increase now there is now an expansion of the market so earlier we identified the main argument of the essay using critical reading for analysis. In comparison, using critical reading for interpretation pinpoints a debatable topic. As the topic in hand is about smoking, using moist tobacco may not be a safe alternative for smoker. So this is now reading for interpretation. So basically, the 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 main topic has deviated with our main argument and our argument has supporting details. Yet, going back to our topic, our interpretation in there, that there is now a decline of the, the use of dry cigarette and, tend to, uh, and, opt, and the users or smokers tend or opt to have this moist tobacco as an alternative instead. Right, so during interpretation, or shall we say, a reading interpretation of a particular text, it requires a lot. 
So basically, you need to know more about the historical background of the text and the the author's background of the text as well. And also, we need to find a clear understanding on what is the text all about before we come up with our interpretation. So basically, dissecting each line, identifying the arguments and the supporting details is very crucial for us to be able to come up with sound interpretation of a text. All right, so thank you so much. And I guess that's it for our lesson three. Um, lesson three, unit three. And we are down to our very last topic for our next video. So feel free to ask any questions with this video or topic and you can comment down in the section where in this video will be posted. So thank you so much.